Oh, oh wait, we, we we have a bit from the announcement. Yeah, this is from his video announcement. He cut it up um, without the uh, dates, and so we can play a little bit, see what he actually looks like when he's walking into a buzzsaw. Yes, uh, we are expanding the family, uh, <laughs> but you know I have a belief that when you do things, uh, you don't just go; you go big. So uh, two babies, people. Two babies are on the way. Uh, those are ultrasounds, what you're seeing over there. Uh, yeah. So, okay, this is going to be very confusing to people, and I understand this, yep. right? Like, uh, okay, wait a minute. You're both dudes. You're showing me two ultrasounds. They don't look exactly the same. What's going on there? Are they twins? Are they something else? Can we, we pull those images up again. One of them seems lighter than the other. What is there a coloration problem? What's going what? on here? Is this racial? I, I get it. There's a lot of questions related to all of this. So let me just back up a little bit. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? What? What is he talking about? He knows people are going to hate it. He knows he's going to hate I know you people hate the gays. This is his feeling of how he's going to win over racists. Is that just Nazis. a function of his, of his, of his, like, nervousness? Like, it, the, he's looking at, we're looking at ultrasounds. What do you, what, what, what is he talking about? Color. You, okay, everybody, before you get upset at these ultrasounds. <laughs> All right, but uh, go ahead. This is just, uh, wow. Related to all of this. So let me just back up a little bit and tell you about our sort of fertility journey. So it, look, it, when you have two men or two women, you're, you're missing a piece, right? You got the sperm or you got the egg, but you don't have a sperm and an egg, right? You don't have a womb. You got to figure out some things here. Um, and, you know, by the way, I know most of you guys that are watching this are now on the more conservative side of things. And I, I never see any real issue with conservatives anymore and gay people and Trump was the first, <laughs> you know, first time president to run being, you know, pro-gay marriage. What? And I think most people Posit oh, what? Wait, wait, what? Trump was what? so wait, pro You never see anything with gay people, with conservatives? Like, you don't watch the number one watched cable television uh, program or network in the country? You don't watch the network you go on? I rescind. I rescind. Your sympathy? My empathy that I <laughs> and empathy. sympathy yeah. that I felt before. No. Wow. Wow. He knows he's dead. He knows he's fucked up in a way, or he knows how can he thread this needle? Of oh my God. Being Are gay? you kidding me? <laughs> I wonder if he believes it. That's insane. Literally earlier this week, Laura Ingram is talking about the 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 indoctrination. The the we had multiple, we had multiple, we could pull we could put we could pull a video a day of of right wingers talking about um how gay people are indoctrinated I mean, that's the whole thing that's going on in florida his own state right don't say gay his Just own state he, he's done a number of uh of uh, episodes about how great desantis is also in the past few months so wow uh, go backwards just a little bit. I want just go, uh, that is just I had no idea he did this. I I, I rescind my uh, sympathy. <laughs> I didn't buy your sympathy anyway. So yeah, well, okay. it, was, it was it was it was moderately sincere, but now it's whoa. <laughs> sort of fertility journey. Sorry. So it look it, when you have two men or two women, you're you're missing a piece, right? You got the sperm, or you got the egg, but you don't have a sperm and an egg, right? You don't have a womb. You got to figure out some things here. Um, and you know, by the way. I know most of you guys that are watching this are now on the more conservative side of things, and I, I never see any real issue with conservatives <laughs> anymore and gay people. And Trump was the first, you know, first time president. I love invoking Trump. Like you guys like Trump, of, right? Of course, that's exactly uh, what's going on there. Yep, because uh, he was a, such he, a pro-gay, you know, pro-gay marriage, and I think most people yes. just kind of want to live and let live and all that. But I know this is like a little bit weird for some people to hear, right? I get it. And by the way, to me, at some level, this is a little bit weird. Like I've had because to you hate yourself and go to a lot of doctors, and it's, <laughs> and it's cost a lot of money, and it's been a long no. sort of adventure. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Yourself. So it costs right. a lot of money. You, is Dave interested in like maybe having a more expansive <laughs> uh, conversation about how surrogacy is only an option for a very rich people? Few? Rich yeah. people, right? Um, right. Might be, might, it, that's the, that's the only like controversial part about this. Although like it's his individual choice. So who could, yeah, I don't particularly care, but, uh, it is, it is, he's not interested in See, that. This is why I left the left to go with the people who think I'm against God and think I should be burned alive. 
because right, I have a uh, just because of the capitalist critique of of surrogacy. Not for me. How do these people live? How does anyone live with themselves? Sorry, I, I let's hear know. more. See you there. Right. One more time with those ultrasounds, would you? Uh, those are two different wombs, and those are two different babies. Oh my god! Um, and I now I now know an awful lot about uh, birth. And I know an awful lot about zygotes, and I know an awful lot. I doubt about you do. Wait, wait, wait! With- pause it, pause it. Zygotes? What's that? Doesn't he mean baby? Doesn't he mean like pre-born, about pre-born baby? Babies. Yeah, that's the baby's right. name. That's the baby's name. Zygote. Oh, zygotes. <laughs> He's naming that from Elon Musk. <laughs> zygote. Oh my gosh! I wonder. I wonder what what point those um uh those pictures are. I mean, the, the idea that he acknowledges that uh, that there are zygotes. Oh, my God. Uh, he's, uh, he's, that that zygotes even exist is, is pretty impressive. But uh, I can't wait for him to, to you know, he's going to be so, so anti-abortion soon. Oh, so he's going to be out on the picket lines. He's going to be. Exactly. He, he, I witnessed to. the miracle of life through that's, my surrogacy. And that's why. Right. But that's why he said that. He's like, this is my so face. Valuable against this is my face enjoying it, though. I can't wait till he converts to Christianity in a a last desperate attempt to. All right, go ahead. Yeah, Ben, will you come to my baby's baptism? (laughs) Ben, now what's Ben's position? He wouldn't, what is he not? Oh, Ben Shapiro has said to him, despite the fact that they're friends, he would not go to to, uh, Dave Rubin's wedding because he didn't believe in uh, gay marriage. What kind of friends are they? (laughs) It's just like, how do you square that racist or fascist circle? Go ahead. Appointments and all kinds of stuff. So basically what we are doing is we got one egg donor. So you got to think about this. If you need to stop right now and grab a Sharpie and make a chart, uh, you could. Uh, so basically we've got plenty of sperm around here. That's that's one thing, right? So there's a lot. <laughs> all right. This, 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 he thinks same. his people are stupid, I mean, right? The people will watch him. Sperm. So we had half the battle, right? We had half of what we needed, but we needed an egg. So there are egg donors that are out there. These are young. I know his audience are conservative, but are they six? Like this is literally, (laughs) this is literally the talk I gave Saul when he was like six or seven. Did you ask him to grab a pen? I know you people are really stupid and, and, and consumed with hate. You might not have a pen, but if you do (laughs) pick it up (laughs) to donate their eggs. Women and women obviously make a lot of eggs. Uh, I make a lot of eggs. Some don't, don't make eggs, but the donors usually are young and healthy. What? And and if they want to help people that otherwise can't have children, they can donate their eggs. So you basically go on all. Oh of my these God! His there are all these sites, and it's sort gulp. of like Tinder or whatever app you were dating on. Where Tinder. You're just typing through people, and you say, "Oh, I conservatives like are gonna love this." She looks, or I like this girl had a great education, or some combination thereof or this one is actually this is unnatural close. i like this person but they're very far and you know there are different rates and all of these things rage um, and- right. pause it for one second i just you're say, buying a I, baby I am, this is honestly w- w- one of the most fascinating things i think i've ever seen really because, i mean I, like you know you're getting past it's it's a little bit you know it, it's it, it's it, it's a little remedial one would imagine that uh, one thinks that their audience has a little bit better knowledge of this but but putting that aside <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine, and he acknowledges in this video that that most of his audience is now conservative. I'm just trying to imagine, like, all the people watching right now just going like, wow, oh my God, like, just the absolute, like, indignation, rage, feelings of betrayal, like all of the things that like, I wish, honestly, I wish I could somehow travel to each one of Dave Rubin's <laughs> fans, homes, audience homes, and just sit with them for a while as they watch this. Like that, <laughs> like, honest, like I would. Uh, I just, can't believe, can, how does he compete with the, with the, with a, with a market that's more like Alex Jonesy? Isn't this market more like, oh, no, no, he's on the Glenn Beck network. And so he's just like there to make conservatives feel like they are right. But what he is yeah. telling them is that like, you're not like, you're, this is, you're good with this. Right. And they're just right? going, what, no. what, what? Like, and he, and the amazing thing is, bless <laughs> his heart. 
he's trying to um, <laughs> explain the process as if like, oh, if I let people know. Yeah. If they understand the process and I demystify that's where it, they're that's where they get off. They just don't understand how uh, I mean, this is works. Uh, this is amazing. Now, look, if I you need to get a pen, continue. if getting a pen will dissipate your hate a little bit, <laughs> pick up the pen, pick up the pen that we yeah. wanted one egg donor, meaning you get a whole bunch of eggs. Well, hopefully you get a whole bunch of eggs from the egg donor. And then we would take several, you know, we'd split the eggs. So let's say you got. I They're dead. You kill eggs. And then you take the sperm. We would split them. So now there's like nine and nine. I'm giving you the rough estimates here. Um, and <laughs> you would then inseminate them. And then you hope <gasps> from that some of it takes, some of it doesn't take. But then in essence, you have these embryos and then you need surrogates. So the surrogate obviously surrogate. is the woman who then carries the child. Well, wait, wait, so wait, wait. Well, well, what, pause it for one second. <laughs> I'm no doctor. But do you have an embryo before you have a surrogate? Hmm. Well, probably not. Right? I mean, I'm pretty sure that the embryo doesn't I'm not exist. sure. I'm not sure. Do, right? Are there embryos in test tubes and they I, put them in? There things? might be. And then they might, that might be where they insert it. I don't know. That's yeah, all right. He didn't listen good. to the whole process when the doctor was talking. I'm sure. Was <laughs> well, he's just putting it in, in racist terms. <laughs> oh my God! Let me oh put this God. in layman, racist, just, misogynist terms. This is amazing. This is amazing. All right, oh, can I, I love it here is that we have one baby that is from my stuff and one baby oh. that is from David's stuff, but they both will have the same biological mother. Stuff. That's, two That's two men. That's two men, though. For the genetic connection. And right now there are two really fantastic women. And, you know, it's not an easy thing to be a surrogate. This is not something people really do. Not for, for a money. Nazi. For a higher purpose, for sure. <laughs> and really two absolutely amazing women are carrying. Who like right wing right politics. <laughs> uh, so we have two babies, again, one from each of us biologically, but they will be connected through the egg, the genetic material of the mother. Uh, one baby oh. will be born in August. Genetic and material will be born in October, so they are not going to be twins in a in a technical sense, um, but they are they as a as a life going forward. I think they'll be they'll really be thought of as twins because you know two no, months no, you're dead means nothing, and they'll be in the same grade. And you know he's not thinking stuff. anything and in his mind except going through the what have I done? The process of how to do this, and uh, I can assure you that it is it is not cheap. It is definitely oh, easier well, okay. if we got a man. <laughs> that's what that's what his audience is concerned about. Well, if it's not cheap, I mean, it is his like like three quarters of his audience are sitting there going like, "This is an abomination." It is the most sinful uh, playing of God. It is a it is a uh, an affront to every single thing that I believe. The idea that you have like six women, it's like some type of like you know like two mothers and a third mother and two men and and they're and like their minds are exploding. And he goes, but I assure you, it's not cheap. I mean, if that was your concern, <laughs> honestly, I mean, I. Uh, well, it's a fake audience that's not out there, right, guys? There is no audience of anybody who's uh, liberal on social issues, right? But then is a Nazi in every other way. It just doesn't yeah. exist, that audience. So he's, well, looking, he's I mean, too, like he's credited. wishful he's thinking. Like becoming an yeah. anti-abortion, too. But it, it is... I, I, this is... I mean, I, I'm, I'm just amazed. I mean, I, I, I hope... Um, uh, you know, obviously, I hope uh, well for the kids and this and that. Uh, but uh, I, I got to say, like, whoa, this is going to be amazing. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I feel like, you know, like uh, if we could hire a special correspondent to just be following like wh what they do to him on his Reddit board or uh, I mean, it, 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 mm -hmm. I, I just. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just. Here's just one comment on the YouTube. Always enjoy your perspective on politics and culture, but I can't help but be skeptical about this. And by the way, his YouTube, I get the sense that it's been pruned a little bit. Um, I think without a natural mother and father raising it, the child will have a deep wound that can't be healed. True. What you did is done, and I wish you and your family success and happiness. Like, that's one of the nicer ones. But um, that's yeah. nicer what you've one. done is done. You see a lot of comments being like, Dave, I'm sorry about all the, the, the ones that are upvoted are like, um, Dave, I'm sorry about all the negative comments you're getting about all this stuff. Um, and it's stuff like, you know, I will put this from back up from the video. It's stuff like you're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, yeah. The appropriate corrective action would be to give this child to a mother. Uh, that's messed up, man. 
Um, this is where conservatism and merely the love of liberty diverge. Oh, here's here's the ideological crux. Uh, this situation prioritizes the desires of adults over the best interests of kids, says uh, this fan of Dave Rubin. So, yeah. Because most kids are anti-gay. It, it, it is. They need the is. mother. Wow. <laughs> I'll that's tell you I had my that's I had art. my mother, and it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes wish I had two men. <laughs> Andy can That's been our Dave Rubin uh, hour. Yeah, One exactly. oh, great. One hour on Dave Rubin. It has been oh. an amazing Dave Rubin week. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm I feel like I'm sweated out from it. You know what I mean? It's cathartic. <laughs> It sweat. is going to be fascinating. This, uh, I mean, just fascinating to watch this. It's a new era. Yep, it is definitely a new era. Um, Andy, I am so glad that you were here to watch it being born. I, um, we we obviously inseminated this uh, before you came on, right? And right. Uh, we had it in a surrogate. Right, and then we gave birth to it, uh, or we watched it give get birth today, and um, and I'm so glad you were here for that. <laughs> I love the way I also love the way he soft sells the thing. He goes, you know, and then uh, we need some kind of woman's genetic material. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, if I like... if I hide that part, they'll forget that I'm gay. Maybe I just want to like I'm just so curious as to like what part of what he was delivering to his audience did he think would be like this is going to mitigate it when they find out it is expensive. But I think also people are going to be psyched to hear about the process. <laughs> <laughs> they really will be. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then um, you know I also like just have that sort of like the idea that this dude's getting twins, and um, his his producer also is uh, one of the parents like they're going to be, they're not going to be able to put, they're going to put out like one show every two weeks. That's <laughs> I love this. I love when they start resenting. No, I don't really mean that. Of course. And not going to love when they start resenting their children. No, no, I'm sure that, that, that it, it, but that's going to be amazing. And it's going to be amazing. I'm going to, I'm here for all of it. I'm going to watch. I can't wait for the massive weight gain that Dave gets because he's so tired and needs to eat constantly to stay awake because of the two kids. And well, maybe Rogan will give him some kind of ivermectin, you know, thing that can help. I got to say that takes a lot of guts to do two kids at one, like to, 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 to like, yeah, I, to I mean, they, on twins, man, man, oh man. He's really blitzing. <laughs> I, didn't, they, I didn't mean to. They're, they're no gonna have intended. some. They're gonna have a night nurse. There's just no shot that they're. Not I know, but like. still, still, it's like. <laughs> then you have Rich to live with. People don't it. really raise their kids. Is something I'm figuring. That's out. true. I mean, I but think he that might not be, be rich forever. I'm hoping. But even still, I mean, <laughs> he's got a mortgage to pay. Yeah, yeah, you know, mm. he's made a big move to Florida. <laughs> um, Andy. And he, What's what should we know? Uh, what should people do? Just uh, thought spiral. Thought spiral is still go. I'm sorry for the. Uh, uh, in fact, I'm I'm doing a. I know your phone's spiral. blowing up. Your phone's blowing up. No, I'm doing a thought spiral uh, uh, thing right after this. That's how busy I am. <laughs> and then also, please still buy my comedy album. Hence the humor. It's so funny. I'm delightful on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like there's something wrong with me and that you you're so nice to me. But, but this doesn't go out on the air, right? <laughs> Nobody's going to see this. Oh, thank Nobody God. Nobody sees this anymore. No, our channel is completely over anyways. That the, we're done. So I, <laughs> I love you guys it. very much. All right, Andy. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much, man. Thanks, Emma. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Bradley. All right. Bradley's not here. I don't know what I'm saying even half the he's, time. He's on vacation. <laughs> I, I, I thought uh, Bradley was Siri for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Andy, I know this is the hardest part is how do I say goodbye? It, he doesn't literally know how to turn it off. Can you dump him, Matt? Dump me. Matt, can you dump him? Yeah, I'll dump him. Bye-bye.
<laughs> <laughs> All right, freebie Friday, freebie Friday, ladies. And oh gentlemen. wow, look at that. <laughs>